Oh, I see. This is going to take a minute. No, let me put the boxes on the bottom. Let's see. Let's climb that so far. Too high to reach, but I have a ladder. Ah, okay. I see. Okay, now this dude's gonna chase me up here. He's gonna be screaming at me. Man, I don't like that I hear it breathing down my neck. <laughs> okay, now we can listen to this. Okay. That was aggressive. I'm gonna guess this is where he was at. Look at some weird paintings. Fire. Okay. Ooh, letter. Diversity at conserv conservatory. Many Parisians, okay, had gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtual Malo di Vigny. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of the songs by fellow composer George Bezet, but that even took an unexpected turn. Young Malo di Vigny turned up. Uh, visibly intoxicated, his vine cried as the bow jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song. La Rose et la Belle. The stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademus Justine Florbel, who was according According to rumors, romantically involved with Manasar de Vigny looked quite amused by the event and had two of her friends, Basile Grewerworks and Idols Rice, carry him off stage. 
The evening was saved by another musician at the conservatory who was able to form a more most delightful impromptu concert in Melody Vigny's absence. The audience showered their saviors of praise and cause for encore were awarded with spectacular pieces by both Offenbach and Chopin. Interesting. Does that move? What's happening when I turn this thing? Is it that? Hmm. Okay. Okay, I can't go in there. We'll not budge. Okay, let's see what's this way. There was nothing this way. My belt. Um, down the stairs. Red door. Library. This one had been extended well beyond the manor during the time of the first revolution. Justine was not sent to without permission, but now there was no one left to ask. Okay, listen to you. Who are these statues? Tinder box. Side one. More tinder boxes. Apple. Alright, results. The tests have been going well. The most long term and in sense the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day and a great way to see a larger overall development of her mind, she definitely reads things into the slides. I have not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything and she is able to effortlessly reduce all her experiences to one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle box has proven more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with her character facing the same way. Uh, always... To always choose two slides with character facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I'm asking. Okay. Okay, that was creepy. Okay, it's not going insane. We need some light. Slide two. Two more tender boxes. Creepy statues. Now right, we got this actual library. You can see light coming from out of there. I can't push it. Sadly, slide four. Right, slide three. Where did I get four from? And pictures. And a note card. Justine, age 8. Today I played outside with players. We saw a bird pick ass now. It carried it off and landed on the lawn, f lawn fence. Lawn. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Players cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded players for playing with me. The bird took off into the air. Today I was the one with open arms. Justine, age 9. Today I played with the slides from Father's Lightbox. Above all, I like the man. Above all, I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said he sees things he likes. Sees things he likes. Today I was the right one. Father, I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man with the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. 
Justine, age 11. Today, father came from came for me in my room. I still looked at him. I, I still couldn't look him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed that I only tried to fill a void left by my mother. When he wasn't looking, I took this star stone from his collection today. I was a sword. Okay. Who are you? Who's there? Um, hi. Okay, I don't know why I can't walk there. Uh, I have three slides, so let's continue. Uh, four slides now. Oh, let's go this way. This is a light box. I'm put slides in. Yeah, open arms, slide one. Oh, slide two. Standing left or sword, one of the two. Facing right, kneeling. Standing, okay. So, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Alright. So I know what I get. I have cards now. I have to put them in here for some way, but uh, puzzle with like the words and stuff. So let me go back to my notes. A new plan. Soul journeys. Let's see if I remember how this one went. I did this one before. All right. So I was open arms. All right one. Never picked the one with the sword. I was kneeling. This is keywords, I guess. He wasn't looking at stole someone today. I was the one with a sword. Alright, so I need to choose ones that fit. Um, I actually no clue which those two words were. Let me go look. Okay, slide one. Okay, not that one. Slide two. So, three and four. Facing samurai, so I'm just gonna go for those two. I guess not. It does sound like it hurt. I can see in there. Or did I put it in backwards? Four and then three. Oh, I put a three and then four. Oh, I was right. Okay. I was right. I just put it backwards. <laughs> Oops. Did it leave me anything? Oh, wait. If I read into more of it, was it supposed to go in order? So... Open arms and then the right one. That makes more sense. Ah, <sighs> gramophone. Dude, she is brutal. Oh, continuing on. Try not to die. Yeah, this part I keep dying and I can't get past it for some particular strange reason. I'm gonna hide behind this box.
kills that guy right there. I, uh, find you. 